What's going on? <clears throat> Good afternoon. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to Nail School with Greg Solo. <clears throat> All right, so acrylic, gel polish, handpiece. One thing that all of these things have in common that all of you who are learning how to do nails um, is balance, right? So you, I wanted to show you this because I feel that everybody that's learning how to do nails, um, one of, I'd say, the hardest thing to <clears throat> master um, and again, with repetition and practice, you're going to be able to get this down. But what it takes is good balance, right? So that you can strengthen your, your, <clears throat> your, basically your hand muscles into working without physically shaking. So a lot of people, when they're holding their brush, when they're learning, they hold their brush like way back here. Um, I really do believe that every single one of you that are learning how to do this, if you learn how to hold the brush, like just like I'm riding, you can see I'm holding this in the crease of my hand. Uh, this is going to give me the ability, if I'm holding in the crease of my hand, I'm going to be able to pick up product, right, without shaking. I'm going to be able to, and again, if I have great balance by connecting my finger here, I'm going to be able to set product down to the surface without shaking, right? You see the connection that I have? I'm always using my ring finger as a means to keep good balance. If I'm holding it like this and then I'm just slapping at it, I have a tendency to shake while I'm working, especially someone who's starting and they don't, they're not comfortable with this, right? All right, so w whether you're using an acrylic brush, actually work, actually working, say, with a gel, right? Um, working with a gel, you're going to be doing the same exact thing. You're going to notice if like, I pick up gel, I, I need good balance, again, connection, right? So that when I'm actually applying it to the surface, I'm actually able to kind of float on the surface and notice that my hands are connected while I'm working, right? So this is really important so that you're able to, to work, again, in control, okay? Now, let's assume that you're very comfortable, right, uh, with the, uh, the brushes, the acrylic brush and, and the, the gel brush. I wanted to show you that there's no difference when you're actually painting with gel polish as well. Um, one of the things I've learned to do is I've learned to hold the gel polish bottle or the top coat bottle or even just regular nail polish. Like if I hold it in my left hand, the distance between the bottle and the finger, again, is not far. If I'm holding it way over here, I have to, again, go over. And I don't want to just hold it like this. What I want to be able to do, again, is I want to hold it in my hand and then I need connection. So I'm always using my ring finger. These three fingers here, same three fingers I'm using when I'm holding my acrylic brush, same three fingers I'm using when I'm holding, again, my gel brush. Well, it's going to be the same when I'm actually working with a gel polish bottle. So again, I, if I have the, the bottle in my hand, the distance between the bottle and the fingers you can see is not far. So uh, if I have connection, then I'm actually able to apply the product to the surface without shaking, right? And this is going to give me the ability to work around the perimeter. I'm going to get, you can see, if I need to get real detailed, I can because I have good balance, because I have connection, what I'm able to do is work around the perimeter and get really tight application. And if I needed to go back and do detailing, again, I'm right here, right? I'm able to go back in my bottle. I'm able to go through and, again, with a controlled application, balance, keeping my finger connected while I'm working. This is going to make a huge difference um, so that... Uh, you don't lose control. And, and last but not least, let me just go ahead and remove 
the shell polish of the surface, the, the, you're going to need great connection when you're using your electric file. And again, just like your acrylic brush, just like your gel brush, just like the gel polish, you're going to notice that I have control. So if I'm actually using my electric file and I'm working at, say, a moderate speed, um, if I have good control, and again, I have balance, right? With I usually use my pinky. I'm not going to use my ring finger. I need to be able to use my pinky so that I have room to work. But if I have connection, then what I'm actually able to do is work around the surface. If I held it like this, if I held it like this, then there's always a chance of the of the bit. Like I see people who are learning to work with their e-file and they're going like this and then everything ends up spinning around the surface. But if you have good connection, then what you're able to do is you're able to work around the perimeter, through the C-curve, down through the body, again, without shaking. And you're able to control. So if I needed to do detailing, you're going to notice that, like, if I needed to get into that corner, right, I'm going to be able to get around that corner and through the surface, again, with great balance. So, again, it doesn't matter whether you're working with your electric file, right? You can see the connection that I have. It doesn't matter if you are working with, again, a polished bottle or a gel polished bottle. Again, I have good connection while I'm working. Um, if I'm working with acrylic as well, I need to make sure that when I have, again, connection, right? I, I, again, I can hold the brush like this, but then when I am working, you're going to notice that I actually have connection, right? And I'm actually able to balance so that when I set it down to the surface, I don't shake, All right? I hope this helps a lot. Wanted to get in here and just share some tips and tricks for everybody out there that are in areas where the weather is absolutely gnarly. Uh, I wish safety for you and your family. I hope everyone's good. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can either go to www.youngnails.com or call 1-800-777-9170. And for those, in, for those people who need information about upcoming Zoom classes, make sure to hit up Ray Bracamontes here at Home Office. He's the man, the myth, the education coordinator. He'll be able to dial you guys in for advanced education. Again, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Subscribe the channel now. Subscribe the channel now. Subscribe it.